Hi, I am Dr. Sham Sharkar. Welcome to my class. Today we will solve this kind of problem where they ask acidity of different oxo acids. See, here they have asked for acidity order of four oxo acids. For example, H3AsO4, HNO3, HClO4, and H4SiO4. So, four different order acidity order is given. You have to find out the correct order of acidity of following four oxy acids. So, this kind of problem can easily be solved with the help of Pauling's rule. See, if you spend five minutes in my previous video related to the Pauling's rule for the pK of oxo acid. Here you will get stepwise calculation of pKa with different examples. Lot of examples I have shown in this video. So please go through this video. The link of this video is given in the video description. You can see below for the details okay so if you spend five minutes on this video you will learn how to calculate pk values and how to calculate uh, pk1 pk2 for different oxo acids and you will easily get from their acid strength that means acidity order relative acid strength of different oxo acids for monoprotic as well as for polyprotic acid okay so let's come to the this example so here we will make one chart like this so here you can see serially we have arranged serial number one two three four here is three is or four in the first acid so we can write it in the form of o n x o h whole m okay in this form you can see in that video there i described why this is this form and what is the formula of pk determination so you can get from that video details okay so here i will not discuss all those things here i will show only the explanation of this type of question okay so let's see h3so4 it can be written as o1 asoh whole 3 in this form and here you can see n value is 1 so when n is 1 pk will be 8 minus 5 into 1 that means 3 so pk we get 3 here for next acid nitric acid hno3 see hno3 can be written as o2 n oh whole 1 so here n equal to 2 so in n if you put the value of n equal to 2 then you will get pk equal to 8 minus 5 into 2 that means minus 2 so pk is minus 2 here and go for the next acid aclo4 aclo4 can be written as o3 cl oh whole 1 here n equal to 3 if you put the value of n equal to 3 then you will get pk equal to 8 minus 5 into 3 that means minus 7 and go for the next acid H4SiO4 so you can be uh, it can be written as O0 ASOH whole 4 so n equal to 0 here because so this is the form of in the form of ONXOH whole m so you will get n equal to 0 in this type in this case so if you put the n equal to 0 value then you will get 8 minus 5 into 0 that means pk equal to 8. So in this way you will get pk values. Now we know that the pk and relation of k. So higher the value of ka you know the acid strength will be more and pka value will be less. So if you see the pk value of these four acids see minus 7 that means aclo 4 has least value of pk that means it will be most acidic among these four okay and if you see the highest value of pk is 8 so this will be least acidic. So this is the least acidic among four and aclo 4 is the most acidic among these four given option okay so now if you arrange so if you arrange in the energy order see the order is matching with option d so option d will be correct answer there aclo 4 has most acidic then hno3 because hno3 is minus 2 value and then you will get h3so4 that is a pk is 3 and highest pk value is h4 sio4 so this will be least acidic so 
acidity order is HClO4 is greater than HNO3 greater than H3SO4 greater than H4SiO4. So you can solve easily if you in exam question asks like this. Okay. So similar kind of problem is also asked. See this next next example. Here using Pauling's rule, predict the pK of following oxy acid and rank them in terms of strength and show your work. So the, here six acids is are six acids are given. So similarly, the chart we will prepare according to just previous discussion. Okay. So here serial number one to six and put acids accordingly, and then it can be written as in the form of O N X O H O L M. So see i am not going to details discussion you can see from here you can easily write down this and corresponding pk values here pk1 i have write down because many acids when will have polypotic acid they may not be monopotic so there will be pk2 pk3 so here I, we have just shown calculation of pka which is coming from the pauling's rule that is 8 minus 5n so if you put the n values you will get for hclo4 pk1 equal to minus 7 for h4sio4 pki pk1 equal to 8 and for h3 aso4 that is 3 and h6 teo6 that is 8 because n equal to 0 here and for h5 io6 the pk value is 3 and for h and 3 pk value is minus 2 so if you put the rank see if you put the rank you see hclo4 will be highest first rank so one rank one will be hclo4 that means it has least value of pk1 that is it will have highest acidity so this is most acidic among these four and if you rank next rank so next rank will go for hno3 c pk is minus 2 and third rank will be shared by both h3aso4 that is serial number 3 and 5 they both have the pk value 3 so they will be third rank and if you go for fourth rank see eight values pk value is eight for h4sio4 that is serial number 2 as well as h6teo6 here also pk value 8 so they both will be in the fourth position so this is the rank and see most acidic is aclo4 and least acidic will be both h4sio4 and h6teo6 because in these both cases pk value is 8 okay so if you arrange according to increasing acid strength considering pk1 you will get h4sio4 is equivalent to H6TO6 get less than H5IO6 that means it is more acidic compared to both and H5IO6 is com uh, approximately equal to H3ASO4 because they uh, both have same pK value less than HNO3 less than HClO4 that means HClO4 will be more acidic and H4SiO4 H6TO6 will be least acidic so in this way see this is very simple calculation I think if you see my previous video and this video you will be able to solve any kind of problem related to relative acid strength of oxy acid using Pauling's tool determination okay thank you so much for watching this video and subscribe my channel if you have not subscribed 